Greetings, welcome back to Woman's Sight. Let's talk with Gumi first. There is no time! The seal! Find the key! The... Oh no! Get back! <laughs> <laughs> something else to do. Oops, something else to do. Damn it. Okay. When I show what to do next, I go to the investigation board. Where is it? I tried to look. I tried to look for it. I can see our memories. Tree always blesses those who give tribute. I know. Oh, look at myself. I don't know. Myself. This. We'll give them a little bit of a formal attack of the combo. I think I'll get maximum health. Okay, I'm... Give me a second, I will look for this goddamn investigation board because I'm curious what I can find there. Okay, I'm true detective so I cannot use investigation board. Good to know. Yeah... Let's meet with Traga today. Hurry, Harbinger. Do not let the tree fall I know. I know. Trust me, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm pretty sure the outcome will be alright. General, give me two battalions and I shall capture the core for you. I do not doubt it, but those battalions would turn the battlefield into a graveyard for them and the Rodentians both. Show you, yeah. This, whatever she was doing. I will protect you with my life. Get out, both of you, now. I respected the godless priestess and all she stood for. I was sure she was our best hope for peace. She was. She was betrayed. Even the most revered among us do not always have our best interests at heart. So Radica tried to stop her. A wasted effort, as your vision has shown. We must find the emperor. We must convince him to stop this war so we can focus our efforts on undoing Vera's actions. And we will need Ratica's help. General Draga! The prison! Riots! Quiet! I need to think. Nobody knows where Indrik is. But in the vision, he was confronting Vera in Yarborg's temple. We should start there. But, my lady, the riots! Let the prisoners go and give a message to Ratica. We wish to parlay. What? <laughs> yeah. I guess the sudden change of action can be a little shocking. So it's better to say that than at the end is night, and we have to. My lady, mm. you cannot disturb the emperor. Peace, or we'll die. Indrik is still here. Good. I have urgent business with him. Step aside, soldier. Please, my lady. Come here. Let me one step ahead of you. Do if we will find Ludomir. 
And right now I'm trying to remember if there was... Yeah, there was. Not the memory. Let's see. It's Indrix, I think, yes. Footfalls make Indrix blind, blink and glance about his solitary room. His instincts tell him to hide the cherished treasure, but his fondness for the gift overpowers it. At any given second, his patrician could fly through the door and demand it from the Indrix. Lockwin is strict in every sense of the word, but this gift this ant farm sent by his parents in secret is a treasure from childhood. Indrid glides his hand along the glass, tracing the worker ant's path. Even as a young boy, Indrid had been fascinated with nature on a surprisingly small and minuscule scale. He was at it again now, but this time his all had to be kept secret. The hour hits twilight. But still, Indrik observes the colony, notating his findings by scoring operations on bits of parchments, exhaustion wounds. Swiftly and without warning, Indrik falls asleep and the ant farm remains out in the open, in danger of discovery. Sometime later, Indrik's groggy eyes open and the patrician is there, rough blue billowing in the senior's face. In one fluid motion, Lord Queen snatches the colony and throws it. Glass hit stone and shattered pieces litter the ground. Standing opposite Indrik, the patrician poses, motionless, expressionless, and naturally calm. Intrigued that Indrik owns heart for Lokrin's control and discipline, eviscerates as he sees the unskiller across the floor. Something fractures between Indrik. A realization takes hold. Indrik will not be like his insect friends. He will not run for nor hide. Instead, will become like Lord Queen, he will become a predator. I think he chose oh, a very bad person to idolize. Oh, at least she's not talking about Cypher has been here, like she usually does. Oh, forces. Amber, already dead. How about our mission? Yeah, hey, it's okay. Let me help. No. Uh -uh. Ada. No. No. Nope. Oh, let's say so. I wasn't here yet. Oh my. I made open. Thank you. Here's another memory of Vera. I think it's sometimes hard to get. Vera hugs her knees, but her shivering one sees three pairs of eyes watch her, concern clouding their faces. Vera's mind spins. Are my parents really gone? And Ludomir's family? Is my new family? Please, that has been a mistake. But it wasn't a mistake, Ranyu. Ratika had explained everything, but this belief clung to Vera. Ludomir's mother asks, Are you hungry? The question hangs in the air and looks away. Why isn't she answering, Mom? Ludomir whispers. She's going through a very difficult time, son. Claustrophobia sees Vera and she bursts out the door, clutching her only possession, the balalaika. A nearby tree becomes her refuge. A voice echoes in Vera's mind, a mother's voice. When faced with adversity, play the balalaika. It is a sacred instrument, a power wielder of bardic magic. 
Lyra lifts the strings and plays until she sees movement below Ludomir looms at the base of the tree. Are you up there? He calls. Lyra doesn't answer and assumes Ludomir will retreat. Instead, Ludomir surprises her and begins to climb. As Ludomir reaches for a pearl branch, he slips. Lyra catches him with her free hand. That was close, he says. Thanks. Lyra stays quiet. I got separated from my mom once, Ludomir says suddenly, where I go rigid. Never been that far, I was lost for hours, scared, hungry, but while I was lost, I discovered something, an amazing glade. I'm not that smartest boy, mom says, I'm a late bloomer, but that glade was something special, it felt magical, like, like being lost in the matter. Something warms inside Vera, Ludomir looks so haphazardly. Vera's mother had told her to be meticulous, but was her mother now? Vera forces the memory away and tightens her grip on her balalaika. Let's find that glade of yours. This time, I'll help you find your way back. Oh, so cute. Okay, here's the way out. Interesting. Oh, just deep. <laughs> oh. You must know that won't work. I'm trying to open the door for you. Okay. In here, I think. Just a little back. Yeah. Oh no. Will this work? Not quite. This one should. Go away. No, 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 not you. Damn it. Let me go. I wanted to kill something. But I need three orbs to work. Really? Stop that. Seriously, stop that. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, now we have to. Yes, we want to go first. I know that I'm a sly, but I have to find out everything. I have a bad thing about that eggs. The time is now. Okay. Thing? No, I thought it would be the big one. Yeah, and it is. It's another one of Vera's memories. Vera gazes at the interior of the amber tree. The hollow tree trunk emanates a soft glow, casting shades of yellow and marigolds. The bark seems to pulse with life. She lifts her bell like and plays a revenant tune, honoring the passing of the late godless priestess. Bella plays with all her focus, plucking every sting, string with perfection and dedication. When she comes to the end of the song, a light forms a pattern in the air. 
There are finishes the tune and the pattern flashes, a final pulse before pummeling inside her chest, disappearing within her. Vera pauses as a strange wave pushes against her. The amber colors within the tree coalesce before winding tightly around her, as if imbuing her. Instead of pulling away, Vera lets herself be consumed by the light. The pattern grows so bright that Vera has to shield her eyes. Once more, the light flashes brightly before disappearing altogether. A familiar voice speaks to Vera from within her mind. It is the ancient voice of the late godless priestess, now fused with Vera's subconscious. But the evolution does not stop. Another voice from a century past joins, echoing the first, then another, and another. Many ancient voices merge within Vera. The torch, the reincarnation of the next godless priestess, has been reignited. Vera can feel the change. Her insecurities evaporated. She feels the power of the ancient priestesses enveloping in her, enriching her with confidence and wisdom. Vera's priorities immediately shift. She can no longer live with a single mind or for a single purpose. She is carrying the weight of all. She is the new godless priestess and she is being called forth. So we like two for forbidden, one Indrix. Damn it! One for Traga and one for Ludomir. Let me go through here. No, I forgot! Give me a second. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. I need to go back. It's closed. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, let's go inside. Let me help. Okay, what are you trying to show me now? What the... I'm not attacking? Oh. Why? Come here. Seriously. So fast to do that. If only any time to react. Barely any time to react. Uh, please no fighting. Please no fighting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's just one phase. This first phase. Oh my god, this is gonna be so long. Oh, I guess this is. This is unfortunate. Man, all we need to do is. Damn it. Ah. No. Finally. 
They died carrying out their duty. We cannot let their sacrifice go to waste. You know. Indrik must not be far now. You will have to show him the vision. I doubt my words will suffice. I've been doing that for longer than you can imagine. <laughs> Believe me. This is so annoying. Okay. No, there's even more of them. I must speak with you. Why aren't you on the battlefield? Interrupting my ascension. This is high treason. Please, Emperor, hear me out. There is a new threat. We must stop the war now. Ah, you finally show your true colors. Do you see now why felines are not accepted as Imperial soldiers? Defy you, my lord. You think me blind, General? I see everything in my kingdom. Including that night at the prison. <gasps> yes, I am well aware of your act of defiance. If you knew, then why am I still here, Emperor? I wanted to see the extent of your betrayal. Now, I have seen enough. What did you do? My lord, that incident, it was one transgression for a friend. Never again. Yet today is your second act of treason. There will be no third. Get my compassion! Oh my goodness. Just stop being so full of yourself. And listen. Do you see, Emperor? The vision. I do. Harbinger, you have revealed deeper weaknesses within an already broken nation. Rodentia may not be salvageable after all. Draga, what is your assessment of the situation? I believe Vera and a handful of Rodentians have summoned the Void in a misguided attempt to fight the Empire. I believe Ratica understands the danger of such an act and could help us root out Vera's allies. I agree. We must retrieve Cladden as well. THE Cladden? As in, the legendary weapon from Yabul? Yes. The very same sword shown in the vision. The sword Vera was using to summon the Void. I will take the Harbinger with me and search for it. Draga, I leave it to you to make a truce with Ratica. Yes. The message for Parley has already been sent. I will not fail you, Emperor. Good. We meet in Redentia. Okay, just how am I supposed to tell you where the Claven is? Okay. At least with them you're still alive. I must warn my soldiers. With this change in plan, they will need more guidance than before. Okay. I'll follow you. No, no, that again. Seriously? Wait, what? Howdy? Damn it. Soldiers of Pigaria, hear me. Today, the war ends. 
Today is our chance to save our land and all the lands of Euralia. Countless times I have asked you to trust me. Countless times. With that trust, we built this great empire. We built it. Together. Today that trust will be put to the test. Do you trust your emperor? My orders are these. Capture the leaders of Redentia. Use lethal force if necessary, but spare the others. The people, the true people of Redentia. Soldiers of the Empire, we march! Okay, where am I? Yeah. Let me heal. On the house and end this time. Mm. What? Intrig is here. Mm, yep. I'll kill him. Not as much as they hate me. Good. Oh, oh. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Wait, what? Where are you? Damn it. They hit very hard. <laughs> You take whoa. This hill. Oh, it's not the pipe. Is it still here? Everyone. Yes, it Don't should fight. be. Yeah. Harbinger. I will proceed forward with the fury. Make sure that we can win. Yes, I understand. Oh, <laughs> need a mean to. Do not let them activate the detonator. Okay, so I will die because I cannot move. Yeah. There's just too much going on. Harbinger, I will proceed forward with the fury. Make sure that we can win. Oh, uh, and now I cannot move. I don't know why. Again, and it's not. Do not let them activate the detonator. And it's not the controls fault because I. I charge it lately. For some reason, just one. Let me use. Okay, I don't. No, I don't. We can win. Attack! I'm gonna get salted. Oh my goodness, I hate this part. Make sure the red dent. We can win! <laughs> Just come here. Come here, you know what? Arbinger, do not let them activate the Shut up. Please, shut up. Seriously? Shut up, please. Please. See? Oh, great. Great. You know what to do. Can I activate it? We can win! Attack! Oh, of course. 
I could really use someone to help me here. Of course, I'm getting hit for no apparent reason. We can win. <sighs> How am I supposed to kill all of them in such short time? I will proceed forward with the fury. Make sure the redemption. We can win. See, this is this is what I mean. This is what I mean. I'm trying to... Do not... Then help me! Instead of shouting. You know what? Come here. Oh, I cannot use it. Of course, of course. You know what to do. Can I keep him kill him afterwards? Really? That's all I want to do. We can win! Attack! You will not tell me what to do. I'm quite fond of it. Move. Just go. Back to the hunt. It doesn't look as if we can manage to go through, I think. Okay. Yes, it works. Can we stop fighting and talk? Oh, I would love to. I... You're useless, I know. I'm trying to. Yeah. Oh, redemptions are so defiant. They would not even let us spare their lives. Okay, not oh and this part here. I'm done, I need a break. Oh, thank you. Bye bye.